Hi everyone, so I'm going to be going over an example on how to do error handling um, for Next.js. So I'm going to create a brand new project. And actually I'm going to call this, it's actually specifically to do with um, um, when you go to the wrong page. So I'll say, so I will say page error and or I'll just say page error and you can call it anything you like, but this is, um, we're going to be using this example with the underscore error in our pages. And we're going to see how this works with um, our application. So for all these options, I'm just going to say no, 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 enter. So now that we have our default template set up, we can actually begin um, editing our code. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go into my pages index.js and I'm going to remove this inter and I'll remove the import inter at the top as well and what I'm going to do is I'll just let me check here okay I'll just delete everything in between the main it doesn't really matter too much right now what the design is. But I'll just say this is the home page right there. I don't need to put anything fancy right now. And what I'll do just to make sure globals, I will delete all the styles, save it, home module. Um, I will just delete everything under the main. So I'll just keep the main, that's it, I'll just keep that, and then globals.css empty. And now here in the index.js, all I can say, all I'll show is just home page. And I'm just going to run this and show you what it looks like. And the page should just look something like this. It just says home page. It's blank right now. And I, what I want to do is, you see if I go to like forward slash about, we don't have an about page. So it'll just say 404, this page cannot be found. So this is the default um, error um, that shows up for Next.js. But we want to customize this and do something with this page. So let's actually modify this code so it looks better. And what we want to do is here in our pages, I'm going to right click new file, I'm going to do underscore error.js. And right here, this is where I'm going to do a bunch of the error handling. And what I want to do is I'll have to set up the function. I'm going to have a status code that's going to be, um, it's going to tell us what the error is. And based on whatever the error is, we're going to have some sort of message be returned. So if there is a status code, then we're going to say something. I'm going to display the status code and just say something about it. And if there is no status code, so if there is an error, if it's true, then it'll show that. If false, it'll just say an error occurred on client. So actually it depends on the status code. And 
and under see I will put it under the function error dot get initial props So if there is some sort of result, I'm going to get the status code if it's true. Um, and then if it is false, I will get the error. Or I'll see if there's an error. And if it is true, Then I'll do error for error dot status code. And then the other option if none of it is true, I will just display 404. And then in the end, I'll just return status code, whatever value it picks. And at the end, export default error. So it's going to check to see based on what error is going to come back, whatever the status code is, and we'll see what is displayed on the screen. And what I'm going to be doing, actually, I think that's going to be it for what we have to do. Let me check here. JS config, nothing. Okay, let's just try ending the server and rerunning this. And what I'll do is I will go to localhost 3000. So right over here we got the home page, but because we have no other pages, if I try to go to about now I can see this will it'll say an error 404, 404 occurred on server. And that's the exact message that we put right here in our stat, uh, it, if our status code is true. So this is how you can go about customizing it. So you could see that, you know, you could put your own like animations or code, or you can stylize this error page so it matches your actual site.